Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brick Tops. All the way from Hamburg, Germany, leave it to Jay. Guten Abend, mein Lieben. Ja, leave it to Jane from Hamburg gekommen. Tonight we give for you a special festlichkeit. We will recreate the after dinner entertainment performed at Kastelhurst, the Saturday, April 26, 1929. The extraordinary evening found legends on both sides of the food lights. Among those on stage were Louise Brooks, Billy Haynes and Peppy Lederworth. The young woman who had the tragic misfortune to be Marion Davies Lees. Tragedy lesbianish with cocaine off the fence to suicide. <laughs> Louise Brooks writes candidly of the evening's performance in her book Lulu in Hollywood. When that snack cable beschadig ist, muss es vom Hersteller oder des Servicevertreter oder einer gleich qualifizierten Person entsetzt werden. Um Gefahren zu vermeiden. Ich liebe dich. Ja, alles lieben, alles. <lacht> Among the welfare sober audience, seated on either side von Marion Davies and William Wander first, the Charlie Chaplin, George Bernard Shaw, Anita Lowe's, Sergei Eisenstein, J. Krishna Murthy and Mrs. Warren G. Harding. <laughs> We're hoping you take the light from our song spiel, the Hearst Castle Gaieties. Danke schön, danke schön. <laughs> Yeah, so an apple. 
aptly named the Roaring Twenties, screaming would possibly have been more suitable, appeared clutching a foot-long cigarette holder in one hand, while with the other she tucked a small packet of cocaine down her plunging decolletage. <laughs> oh, set a glow with an aura of spectacularly appalling behavior. Somebody's going to throw a big party. Somebody's going to have a big bust. Somebody's going to break some more china. Somebody's going to break some more dust. Somebody's just delighted. Cause they delighted. The upper supper set us up, the upper supper set. Somebody's going to pay the check. Somebody's going to leave the rent. Somebody else. My dear, I looked him full in the face and said, just because you're in France, don't imagine you can take liberties. My dear, you didn't. My dear, I did. What did he do? He took hold of both my hands suddenly and kissed me. My dear, he didn't. My dear, he did. After the first kiss, I quivered like an aspen. Take toi, 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 Never mind, dear, we're all made the same, though some more than others. Since first you blew in like a poisonous breeze, I often have wondered, dear, why gentlemen all seem to fall on their knees the moment that you appear. Your fashion physique is hardly unique. You're mentally not so hot. You'll never win laurels because of your morals. But I'll tell you what you got. You got that thing. You got that thing. That thing that makes birds forget to sing. Yes, you got that thing. That certain thing. You got that charm. That subtle charm. That makes your farmers desert the farm. Yes, you got that thing. Shop to party games for a wedding ring. You got that thing. You got that thing. You got that thing. The thing that makes signs and birds to cling. Yes, you got that thing. That certain thing. You got those looks, those strange looks. The name book censors enjoy their books. Yes, you got that thing. Singing their sweet deceitful song, the 
hips and a stereo. And common, my dear, do you know she did? My God, she did. She did. Right in my face. <laughs> Sergeant Leggett came along and let me her pop. We got to talking. She, she told me all about Jesse Lucas. How could she be Chet with a name like Jesse Lucas? Where is she? She's in the hospital. What? Again? No, she was on duty at Victoria Station and she got three ribs broken trying to see Adolf Monge.
goodness mercy, listen, Percy, hear the bugles call. Find a place to crawl from the cannonball. I'm so nervous, Lord, reservists must be volunteer. I'll keep in the rear, I'll wave the flag and cheer. Hooray, go away, come back some other day. I don't want to go to war. I think bullets are a bore. I must fight, cross match and fight, and pull their hair with all my might. I'll blow out the campfire's gleam, like an eagle on the screen. from on high, on bombs in your eye. Flags are pretty, what a pity they should be shot at. Heavens, what was that? A bullet through my hat. That's why I shall be my battle cry. I don't want to go to war. I think bullets are a bore. I must fight, I'll scratch and bite. Just to wash my 
gentlemen, this next song really needs no introduction. Therefore, we shan't make any. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Fitzgerald wrote, my greatest claim to fame is that I discovered Bricktop before Cole Porter. Uh, I found Fitzgerald an apartment near Bricktop's and around the corner from mine, Sheila Graham writes. F. Scott Fitzgerald's last home was three blocks from Bricktop's at Laurel and Sunset. Fifty years later, the 90-proof marriage of Frank Sinatra and Ava Gardner finally exploded, you guessed it, right here at Bricktops. Even Martin Luther King Jr. visited Bricktops on a visit to Los Angeles, and he asked to be introduced to her. Elsa Maxwell put it best when she said, I think Brick must have been a queen in some former life. Her parents named her Ada, Beatrice, Queen Victoria, Louise, Virginia Smith. But everyone from John Barrymore to his granddaughter Drew knows her as Bricktop. Today, February 23rd, is her 493rd birthday. Bricktop, come on up here. The boys have to Yeah. 
What a mess face you turned out to be. Get out then. Next time you can bring $50. I'll slap your face, you little bit. Sex has gone to the white man's head. Greenwich Village is bad enough. Now Harlem is infected. Hysterics. 
Say it again. 